An outdoor homeless shelter now up and running on Southwest NATO tonight, despite recent pushback. We do know 20 new residents moved in today. Joelle Jones toured this village with coordinators, asking tough questions about what they are doing to make sure that not only the people there are safe, but so are neighbors. Joelle? Yes, Jeff, Liz, this morning before villagers arrived, we got a firsthand look at the 35 pods, amenities, and some of the resources offered at that new site. Now, we spoke to site coordinators and stakeholders with a local school just across the way. They tell us while they haven't always seen eye to eye on safety concerns, they now believe they found some common ground. Residents of the former camp off Southeast Water Avenue were welcomed to their new home at the Queer Affinity Village off NATO Parkway Friday afternoon. Backed by Commissioner Dan Ryan's office, the 35 pod low barrier shelter offers LGBTQ plus self-identifying villagers private sleeping quarters, laundry, flushing bathrooms, a shared kitchenette and optional services. Coordinators tell us the new location will grant residents the privacy and security they need as they work to transition into more permanent housing. It's safety and secure space where they can leave their stuff behind uh, and it's open 24 hours to them and it, it gives them a sense of self and a sense of space. The site opened just a week after stakeholders publicly withdrew support for the shelter amid safety concerns. Last Friday, nearby schools and community members called for a stakeholder safe rest village advisory board, a 1,000 feet monitored safety zone around the shelter and background checks for incoming villagers. The safe rest village model does not have background checks as is part of it. The part of the process is screening people into services and not screening them out of services. The safety and security of our students is primary, right? As a school leader, my job is to make sure that kids are learning and that they're safe. As the head of the International School of Portland just across the way from the new site, Bodo Heilinger tells us until recently he and other stakeholders have felt unheard by Commissioner Ryan's office. He said the decision was caused by a lack of communication, collaboration and transparency surrounding background checks and other safety concerns from leadership. But coordinators say a code of conduct is in place for incoming residents. That doesn't mean that they're not held to expectations in this space, right? It is on a shel the shelter operator and the joint office in the city to ensure that that the space is safe for not only the people in the village, but also the community members outside. Since last Friday, site reps and Commissioner Ryan have sat down with stakeholders and committed to developing a safety plan and an advisory board to help address their concerns. Heilinger tells us he is cautiously optimistic, but is glad stakeholders and Ryan's office are back at the table. That's a big step, right? Like actually hearing us, hearing our, our concerns and knowing that, you know, we want to work together to move this forward. Right, because we're not, we don't want to reject it. We don't want to rescind our um, support of the village because we see opportunity there. Well, t while talks are still ongoing, uh, there's definitely been a dramatic shift in stakeholder support since we since last Friday. That head of the school even telling us he dropped off donuts for the new neighbors of the school this morning. And Commissioner Ryan just issuing a new new statement, which says in part he is encouraged by the talks and the ongoing dialogue between these stakeholders and his office and is committed to ensuring the safety of that entire community. Reporting live in downtown Portland, I'm Joelle Jones, Queen 6 News.